gang, we're back. We've got another 2D equilibrium problem. This one's kind of weird. Got a pulley, got a weight on the bar. So it says if the weight on the uniform bar, the uniform bar, he probably wears a little suit, doesn't he? No, that's not what that means. That means that it's constant across there. It's the same density. It's the same weight all the way across there. Okay. The weight on the bar is 500 newtons. So this guy here is 500 newtons. Uh, and the bar itself, ooh, the bar itself has weight 300 newtons. Find the tension in the rope and the reaction at point A. Okay. So, to solve this problem, what's step one? I heard you say it. Draw a free body diagram. Okay. The free body, what are we going to free up from the world? Well, it's just the bar. That's what everything is acting on. Okay. Okay. This is the time where you push pause and draw the free body diagram, and then I, I'm going to come back and uh, I'm going to draw it. Let's see if we get the same thing. Ready? Push pause. All right, are you back? Here we go. Hope you got this right. Number one, over here at A, I got a pin connection. Okay? Pin connection. This is a A, Y, and A, X. I'll, I'll put those arrows on there in just a second, right? Uh, I got a weight on the bar. Okay, the weight is 500 newtons. Okay, the bar itself has weight, and it's a uniform bar, right? You always see that word. Well, that means that you need to put it right in the middle of the bar. The bar is 60 centimeters long, so we're going to put it at 30, right in the middle. Okay, there it is. 300 newtons and then I'm not sure what's going on over there okay well to free this thing up from the world to free body I'm gonna free it up from the world I'm gonna cut through these cables right so what do I have I have a cable pulling up there and I got a cable pulling up there okay so what do I have over here I have let's call it T for tension and then over here I have T for tension remember rope going over a pulley it's the same tension on both sides. So that's T and that's T. Okay. So there's my free body diagram. What about AX? AX. You know, I don't know. There uh, aren't any forces in the X direction. I could say it's that way, but whatever. It's zero. X is like a good friend. He's there if we need us, if we need him. But we don't need him for this problem, right? He's zero. Um... Do you have a good idea about this? Well, it's supporting the, the thing. I don't know. I'm just going to guess up because I got forces down. I got forces up. I don't know. I'm going to guess up. If I'm wrong, I'll just get a negative there. So no big deal. Okay. So let's see how to solve this problem. Let's see. Um, you know what? 99% of the time where I tell you to start out, take a moment. Okay. So take a moment somewhere. Now, do I take a moment here? Well, if I do, I'm going to have T and AY, okay? Do I take a moment there? I'm going to have T and AY. Do I take a moment there? I'm going to have T. Oh, just T. That's good. Let's do that. Take the moment at point A, okay? This being positive. Now, you say now, you're saying, oh, well, this is an easy problem. Why are you working the easy problem? Well, it's only easy because we could draw that free body diagram. If you can't draw that free body diagram, it's not easy, Okay? You're not going to get this problem right. All right, so here we go. We've got the 300, which rotates me clockwise. It's negative, so minus 300 times how far away? Let's see. Oh, it's half the bar, isn't it? So it's at 30 centimeters. Now, you got to remember your units here, right? This guy is in newtons, right? This is in newtons, and this is in centimeters, okay? So I'm going to get my moment is going to be in newton centimeters here, right? Okay. Um, and then what? The 500, which also rotates me whoop, clockwise, negative. 500 times how far away to the 500 is uh, 40 centimeters. Okay. And then this T, which rotates me positive, so plus T times 40. And then there's another T over there, also positive, plus T times 60. Okay. Oh, we got this, don't we? Okay. 
Uh, so 300 times 30 plus 500 times 40 is uh, 29,000. Okay, and 29,000 is equal to 40 and 60, 100 T. So T is equal to 290 Newtons, okay? So the tension in the rope, that's what we just found, is 290 Newtons, okay? Now we already know that AX is zero. So the other, only other thing we need to find for that reaction at, at point A is we need to find a Y, okay? And a Y. So the up stuff here has to equal the down stuff, right? So this guy is 290, this guy is 290, okay? So let me see, 290 times two equals 580, right? Minus 500, minus 300 equals. So the net of all of this stuff here, the net of all of this is 220 pounds, or, or newtons rather, downwards, right? So if 220 is down, what does AY have to be? 220 up, right? And that's the sum of the forces and the Y's, what we're doing there. We're kind of getting to the point where we're doing it in our head, aren't we? So AY equals 220 newtons. Okay? And I just added the two positives and the two negatives, and that tells me which way that guy needs to go, okay? Let, let me write it out for you in case you're you're getting lost there. Sum of the force in the Y equals zero equals uh, AY going uphill plus 290 times two, right? And then minus 300 minus 500, right? And so AY equals 220. But we should be getting to a point where you're starting to see this and you're starting to be able to do that in your head, okay? So there you go. That's not too bad. We can do these 2D problems, can't we? Let's get another one.